It's my pleasure to introduce Austin Straubel. Um, is our first 2016 Wisconsin Aviation Hall of Fame inductee. Austin August Straubel was born to Carl and Alice on September 14, 1904, one of four children and the couple's only son. Like any good Wisconsinite, football and the Green Bay Packers were part of his early upbringing. In fact, it's impossible to mention August with, without, sorry, Austin without actually mentioning football at the same time. Young Straubel became a star football player for Green Bay East High School under the tutelage of none other than Curly Lambeau. His overwhelming presence as tackle earned him the following description in his 1922 class yearbook. Osti, the giant who held down the position at right tackle, was strong and fast and was a star in his position. He feared nothing and nothing could stop him. He graduated to playing football for UW-Madison from 1923 to 1927, again as tackle. The Badger yearbooks described him as a fighter through and through and a bearcat on defense and offense. Osti, they said, gave every man that played against him plenty to worry about. While simultaneously distinguishing himself as a class leader, however, he was not above the shenanigans of youthful impetuosity. Unbeknownst to his family, he, during his high school years, he was rumored to have come down to Oshkosh several times to take flying lessons from such notable aviators as Steve Whitman and Captain Morey. No doubt these men influenced him to pursue a career in aviation instead of cheese. He spent a year working in the family business after graduating college, but decided to join the Army and entered flight training. When he was doing the low approach, he decided to do a go-around, and the left engine quit. Unable to clear a stand of trees, he cut both engines and attempted a landing. The ship was damaged beyond repair and abandoned in place. However, thanks to his quick decision-making and skill, neither here, he nor his two passengers were seriously injured. Returning from the Philippines, he married L Isabel Lawson Walthall, and the couple eventually had two daughters. He was assigned to the 7th Bombardment Group at Hamilton Field in California and made his final career transition to becoming a bomber pilot, flying the Douglas B-18 and the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. Late in 1941, the 7th Group was ordered overseas, ground support elements left, by Californ left California by ship that November. Early in the morning on the first Sunday in December, 1941, 12 B-17s departed Hamilton Field for their overseas deployment. Their first leg was to stop in Hawaii. Little did they know that they would be flying right into that day which will live in infamy. The remaining departures from Straubel's unit that day were canceled. Austin's group of three aircraft were the first to arrive in Java on January 11th. He was now commander of the 11th Squadron, 7th Bombardment Group. On August 16th, Austin solidified his place in history and earned the Distinguished Flying Cross for leading three LB-30s and two B-17s in the first aerial combat mission flown against the Japanese following the outbreak of the war. In spite of aircraft losses, the mission was a success. Via battlefield promotion, Austin was named commander of the 7th Bomb Group on January 29th. On February 2nd, Austin flew from Malang to meet the commander of the Far East Air Force, and the next day he was asked to transport passengers to Surabaya before returning to Malang. Unfortunately, this was also the day that the Japanese first attacked the island of Java from the air. Two Japanese sp Zeros spotted Austin's aircraft and shot down the unarmed plane. Austin was able to land the burning aircraft. He and the co-pilot got out, but heroically returned to the burning craft several times in vain attempts to save the other five passengers. He was burned black, and there was no hope. They'd given him morphine to put him to sleep, but he was groaning in his sleep. But until then, when he'd been conscious, he hadn't let out a groan. He'd just been anxious that the nurse let his wife know that he was all right. He died at three that morning. On March 20th, 1946, the Brown County Board of Supervisors voted to name the new Green Bay Airport in honor of Lieutenant Colonel Straubel, citing his dauntless courage, devotion to duty, and ultimate self-sacrifice. Stealing a final quote from the pages of his senior yearbook, it is my honor this evening to induct Austin August Straubel, a diplomat, an athlete, 
a gentleman, and may I add hero, to the Wisconsin Aviation Hall of Fame. Please join me in a warm welcome, Mr. John Dodds. In walking through the airport, there was a small plaque for this man, Austin Strabel, and it said he was killed early in the war, February 1942, in Java. Libraries. I worked in the Pentagon, but I would take vacation days to go in the Pentagon Library and research. Went out to the Air Force Academy to look through their library, University of North Carolina and Chapel Hill. And the more I found out about this person, the more intrigued I became, and I thought that we should we, I thought the Green Bay Airport should have a display on Austin Straubel. So that was really the point of my research. So I really appreciate Wisconsin Aviation Hall of Fame and in inducting him in to this organization and for Tom Miller for agreeing to put a display at the airport. So people will now see people like Austin Straubel, World War II veterans, Korean veterans and whatever. The World War II veterans in particular are dying at an alarming rate hundreds by the day. Tom is the director of Green Bay Straubel Airport. <laughs> and so we'll present it to him. <laughs> 